Robocroc. Do you see what they did there? So this is a 2013 TV movie that was originally aired on the Sci-Fi Channel, starring Corin Nemec and Keith Duffy from Boyzone in a completely pointless role. So if you watch sci-fi movies, you're going to know the kind of familiar sort of plot that this one has that is no different from any other movie that they kind of put out on the sci-fi channel. Basically, you've got some secret government experiment with, with some kind of nanotechnology that unwittingly sort of crashes in a, in a kind of zoo. And so these nanobots get involved in this kind of large saltwater crocodile called uh, Stella and sort of turns it into this kind of Terminator-like um, robo-croc. It kind of goes on the rampage looking for food it's sort of stronger and as the sort of film progresses basically the, the crocodile kind of sheds its sort of more you know natural state ultimately becomes just a kind of metal eto exoskeleton type thing and basically Corin Nemec plays a zookeeper and he kind of works in conjunction and against the military to try and stop this kind of this monstrous beast from attacking all the kind of locals including a local water park where his son just happens to be. So, like I said, there's, there's no, no real kind of difference in what you've seen in films like Piranha or even things like Jaws. And this, this kind of like tire plot has been trotted out time and time again. But this film is actually quite fun. Corin Nemec, I have to say, is kind of one of these actors that always turns up in these sort of TV movies. And he's normally pretty wooden, but he looks like he's having fun in this movie. And, I actually, and you kind of get that sense of fun in it. Now, let's talk about the premise because the premise is absolutely stupid. And that, let's make no bones about it. This is just, this was one of those kind of Sharknado uh, type logic movies. I mean, the actual crocodile is actually has like readings in English and stuff. And we're what, supposed to believe he can kind of read English. It's ridiculous. Um, and the actual special effects in the crocodile, I mean, it's all CGI. And I have to say the CGI is, is a mixed bag, mostly bad. But there are a couple of instances where it's kind of moving quite quickly, where it kind of doesn't look as bad. However, there are, there are a few shots where it looks completely terrible as well. Uh, there's quite a high body count in this in this movie. I have to say, there's quite a lot of uh, you know casualties. Um, you know, if, you, if you're going to want to be picky about it, there's so many things to be picky from. I mean, this crocodile just seems to randomly kill people and not eat them. Again, why would it even need to be if it's just the robot? That basically, by the end of the movie, so you know, there you go. There's this. Yeah, but this is kind of one of these films where logic completely goes out the window. So, you know, saying, having a logical argument for kind of these films is just stupid. Like I said, Keith Duffy from the, uh, the Boyzone band turns up as a kind of like big game hunter, but he's, his kind of role is completely pointless and he's, he's only in it for about probably 20 minutes of the actual film. Don't know why he's in there, but there you go. Uh, so, yeah, all sorts of arguments can be said why this film is no good. And why it's just a kind of made for TV, you know, by the numbers kind of monster flick. There's obviously many sort of cash in on the kind of the Robocop name. There's kind of this sort of strange sort of people, sort of fascination about people having these kind of like weird monster movies as well. But like I said, it is quite fun. It does have that fun vibe to it. Everyone kind of looks like they're having a bit of fun with this state. You've got Dee Wallace Stone as well, kind of chewing the scenery as the sort of government bad guy and things like that. So I did actually quite have, have a bit of a laugh watching it, even though the, the premise is so completely absurd. I'm going to give this movie a 4.5 out of 10. It's just under our average uh, IK for this kind of movie. What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.